Hi and welcome back to this YouTube channel and my eBay sellers account, GB Hatchery. Today we have a product specific video. This is a product awareness video. This is about the ASUS Blu-ray writer. And this is a Blu-ray writer that is of six times speed. There are faster on the market. This one has actually been out for quite a while. There are newer ones. Uh, that are more expensive, but this has some features that I thought were right for my situation, for my use case. Um, one of them being price, I gotta be honest, because I'm probably only going to do so many backup DVDs or CDs. Actually, I'm gonna be doing mostly Blu rays. In fact, I'm gonna be doing 100 gigabyte Blu rays, and that's one thing that some of these other writers cannot do. So this was, if you, if you put into Google BDXL, that's what I wanted to get. And this was really, uh, it was a little bit more expensive than some of the internal ones, but it's an external drive. And what's nice about an external drive is if you have multiple computers, you can bounce around from one computer to the next, and for other reasons. Other reasons being keeping it by the CDs. What I want to do is keep the, the drive by the CDs that I have burned where it's nice and dust free. I could even keep it like, like this. I could wrap it back up because if you think about it, when you put it at, um, a drive like this in your computer, you know how much computers hold dust because of uh, just the way they're made with the electricity going through them. They end up being a bit like a magnet at times, and then it just draws the dust toward them. Plus, they're blowing air at themselves all the time, and all those little, just the little crevices in here will slowly have air going through them, and it will slowly get dusty. And the one thing you don't want with a burner is having dust inside of it. If you think about the technology, you just don't want to fight it because... It's making tiny little um, readable marks in, in a disc. So um, this is the type of thing where what I'm going to do is plug it into the computer and probably put a pillow down and just lay it on the pillow because um, just the movement and, and things like that, it can't tolerate that. And then when it's installed in the drive, and then actually there's one more thing about me and that is that I bought an Alienware computer and those do not have the ability to have an internal drive because they're just a gaming PC and the front kind of looks like a horn it looks like uh, it's an Alienware R10 and it kind of looks like Siren Head a little bit so there's no room for a drive now I have the other computer there and it has room for a drive in fact it has a CD DVD burner but that's just the point. I'll be able to burn files from my one computer, the other computer. Uh, we have two HP streams in the house. We'll be able to plug into those and burn disks. And this will do Blu-ray disks. It will be able to do the 25 gigabyte Blu-ray disks. It will be able to do the 50 gigabyte double layer disks. And it will be able to do the four layer BDXLs and the 128 gigabyte BDXLs. I'll, I have actually just ordered some 100 gigabyte uh, Blu-rays. Now it will also do M-Disc. This is a stand. It will also do M-Disc. And M-Disc is like a lifetime burn. You burn it and it's like set in stone as long as you don't scratch it. But I actually figure this technology is going to move on at some point and why do I have a thousand year disc they're rated for a thousand years why do I have a thousand year disc with a ten year technology to where they're not they're gonna USB will not work I'll have to get out they probably won't even have the same electricity by the time I mean it maybe I don't know but uh, it'll be a while before things change too much but at the same time that's my reasoning for just getting regular Blu-ray drives. This is like a uh, stand. I like the look of that. 
I don't think that's installed right. I think it goes the other way. But, um, you know, burn CDs have always worked for me if they don't get scratched. When they get scratched or they're mishandled, then they don't work. So they actually have some Blu-ray BDRs that are of decent quality that have like a hardened layer on them. And they're like, they're like five bucks a piece, give or take. And the M-Discs are like 10 to $12 a piece, sometimes 20 if you just buy one. If you get multiples, they end up being a little cheaper. But um, I, I actually, they're not here yet. I did buy this on Newegg right here. I bought this on Newegg, but Newegg was on eBay, and that's where I trade. I like to sell my items on eBay. And New Egg was on eBay and they had an excellent price. I got this actually for $100 in 2021. It's the summer of 2021 right now. Now this technology is actually, it's a little bit dated. So this drive has actually been out for quite a while. And it's USB 2.0. So here we have the USB. It's USB 2.0. Now everything is going 3.0 and 3.1 and... You know, they have the little mini uh, display ports and the mini USB 3 and all that. And it's all coming out. And you know they're going to change it in another three or four years because they'll make improvements. But uh, this actually uses one to the drive. And this is, as you can see, the older style mini USB, not micro. All the phones went to micro, and then beyond that, now they're going to USB-C. And USB-C is nice because it doesn't have to be oriented this way or that. You just plug it in, and it works. And I love that. And I saw somebody who had it first, and I thought, oh, what's, up? what's with the new connector? You know, it was on an iPhone. But my next phone had it, and I was now that I have it, I can see why. It's an excellent connector. So it's an older connector. Some of this is dated. This is an older design. But if you look at BDXL, you only have so many choices. And if you look at external, then you're even less than that. Now, ASUS has a newer one that's, I think, 16 times. I'm almost positive. It's a 16 times. This is only a 6 times. But the 16 times is 160 or 180 with shipping. And this was $100 with shipping. And the other one was really bulky. And if I do any kind of burning... I'm going to get all my files in there and I'm going to press burn and I'm going to walk away because I don't want to be around bouncing this. Like I said, I'm going to probably put it on a pillow. I don't expect everyone to do that, but that's what I'm going to end up doing because I know the vibrations are really bad for it writing. If you think about the minute, just tiny indentations or it's changing. And I think there's one has ink and the other one has another way of crystallizing something. I don't know exactly. If you want to learn more about the technology, I would suggest a quick Google search and it will bring it right up on Wikipedia or anywhere else. But um, that's the one side of the USB cable and the other side is you have two plugs. Now I've actually been reading around um, uh, other people's use cases and what they've gotten away with and what works and what doesn't and it sounds like you can run it with just one, especially if you're using like CDs and DVDs, but once you start getting into Blu-rays, um, this one, that I, the, they were either speculating or were 100% sure that this is a data cable, and then this is just extra power. This is like PO, power on Ethernet, but this is not Ethernet, but it's just a power uh, cable. Now, um, it looks like it has all the prongs. So that's the speculation, but a lot of times the USBs are actually ganged up in the computer, so you're just getting the same power anyway. So I'm not exactly sure why it has two, but uh, one person that uh, was writing things on the Internet with their keyboard, they were saying that this one they would use for data, and this one they just plugged into a charger, and then they started getting good discs, good Blu-rays, when before they were getting errors, and it would kick it out at them as, a, you know, we can't burn that. So that's something to know about this that I did not know when I purchased it. And uh, I'm not sure that would have swayed me one way or the other, but it's nice to know now. And if you're looking at these, that's something you can know is that it does have this 
two USB 2.0 interface here with your computer. Um, another thing that I was reading about, you know, I've done a little bit of research so you don't have to, but this ASUS um, BD Suite disc, uh, some people uh, were saying that they weren't able to get, they plugged it in and they couldn't get this to to work to do the drivers, like it wasn't plug and play. Now things may have changed since then, you may be able to plug this in, the computer will sense it, you can put this disc in and then it'll upload the drivers. And the drivers are just going to basically consist of you getting a, uh, what do they call that, like an icon on your desktop, and you can drag and drop. That was another reason the Asus kind of floated to the top for me, is for ease of use, and especially for multiple computers, you get the, um, the files onto a USB. That's what they said they had to do, is go to a computer that already had a disk drive, because this is just a CD, I think and then get those CD files, get the files from here onto a thumb drive because they're not available on the internet. Once they're on the thumb drive, they can get it to their computer. So that's what I would do for multiple computers is I would get the files, put them on a thumb drive, and then I'd go around to the various computers that I want to use and install the, the, the uh, drivers. And the drivers probably have a little bit of uh, program that uh, from what I've seen is it has just an icon and in fact it shows it right here in the box some of the features it just has an icon on your desktop and that's another thing that drew, draw me, drew me to the ASUS here is you get this icon drag and drop to the thumbnail then you say burn drag and drop burn Done. And I've had burners before where you have to get the special Super Burn Pro or something, and it just gets to be like, why in the heck didn't they do like Asus does? So that's why I bought Asus. So, Superior Burning Solution. Here it says the BDXL. That's what drew me in, too. A lot of the, the burners out there will burn DVD and CD, no problem, for like 40 bucks get them used for 25 bucks. This one you can have for $100 or $75 new in 2021. And I think even Newegg will sell you one that's been pre-owned. Maybe been out and back once by somebody who wasn't too keen on uh, doing what, having more than one burn. Maybe they burned it once and sent it back. But uh, BDXL, 128 gigabyte. Now these are a little bit rare and very expensive. There's one on uh, there's one on the internet for a hundred, what is it, uh, $35 or something? It's a Sony. It's a Sony BDXL 128 gigabyte, and it's like 35 bucks just for one. Now I got, uh, and I think that's an M disc as well, so it lasts forever. But I paid $32 and I got five 100 gigabyte BDRs, and I think they're going to last, and they're going to last and they have a coating on them that makes them like harder to scratch like it's a super tough coating so I don't have those yet and I haven't tried to scratch them but it's just insurance so this is for backing up files so I'm making videos and I can back them up just so that when I'm older uh, I can look at them and go, yep, that was me. And I don't have to look at the compressed ones on YouTube. I can look at the originals. So MDIS support, a thousand-year storage solution. That's what I was talking about if you wanted to do that. And then disk encryption and all that and aesthetics. Now it is shiny, so it's like a PS3 or an optomer projector if you have a a 1080p optomer projector you'll see that uh, the fingerprints are left so that's that's kind of a feature it looks nice at first but you know if you hand it to somebody then they can just see all of your fingerprints and so it's a little bit gross so it would have been nice if they be blasted it a little bit or something like they did the front like back here but you know first impression is wow that's a nice piece so then they give you these um, 
these pamphlets and burning files. Select an action. Connect to Mac. I won't be using that. Then there's all this information. It's a laser product. Stable surface. So um, I will have to try the pillow and see if that's where that works. A piece of granite might be better if you have a piece of granite that doesn't move, but I would not put it on a pergo floor and stomp around while it's trying to make a CD or DVD or Blu-ray. Connect the optical drive to your computer. Look at that, and then it just has all those languages. Ensure their system detects the external optical drive. So it should just go ahead and and see it. That's what I thought. I think this is going to be easy. There are some things on the internet that made it sound hard. It could have just been um, something, maybe a faulty piece, maybe a bad cable, maybe it wasn't plugged in right, maybe the, you know, sometimes a USB um, Ports are not hooked up because you, if you build your computer, the ports you have to plug them in to your your motherboard. So if you just if somebody built your computer and they just plugged in the back ones or just the front, you might plug it in and think it's plugged in. So definitely plug it into a USB port that you know works. Remove the external hard drive. So like I was saying, I'm going to burn, and then this is going to go with the media that got burnt and it might go into a plastic baggie and I'm gonna have a stack of CDs and then I'm gonna have a burner on top that's the way I'm doing it I don't necessarily recommend everyone do it that way but that's what I'm gonna do because I've had many a CD burner and I've had many a CD player and what they do is they collect dust so if I do that this will act like a brand new burner every time and I'm only gonna burn what is it, hundred gigs I'm gonna have hundred gigs and then I'm going to get it and when the folder is full I'm going to send it over here and it might take overnight but I'm just going to press burn put it on the pillow or a piece of granite and go to bed and as long as the power doesn't go out I should have a disk in the morning hopefully not with any errors but I can double check it and if I have to burn again so be it and then I can delete the files off my computer and I don't have to buy more SSD that may or may not hold the information long term it probably will, but if you think about it, they're just ions that are stuck in a spot. So that's kind of a tall order to say do that forever. You know, you'd think even magnetism would mess that up. So this is a physical thing. It physically makes a recording. So uh, one other complaint that I saw on the Internet is that it was not compatible with Windows 10 and that they called and it was, it may have been this same chassis but a different version. But from what I could read, it was the 06 D2X. And then the numbers may or may not be different at the end. I don't know. But uh, either way, this one, it says Windows 10 compatible right on it. So there's relief on that one. So I don't have to worry about that. Now it is a little bit slower. It's a six times. And uh, it's going to read CDs like 25 times if you have a CD. Like when I put this CD in, it's going to read that fast. Um, but, uh, you know, I just figured I would just go to bed anyway. So I wasn't really looking for speed as much as portability. And then I can see a stack of CDs, and I can see this at the top. Well, BDXLs, 100 gigabyte BDRs that I pay 5 bucks a piece for that are, uh, you know, you can put those in a safety deposit box or anything and then just, I'm going to put this right on top and it's going to be quaint. But that's just me. That's what I'm doing. So um, that's the, the information I have on it. That is the research I've done. It's a BDXL. It's six times. It is USB 
Uh, would I like it to be USB 3? Yes, especially because I have a new Alienware in the mail that should be here soon. But uh, the Alienware doesn't have room for the drives, so, and then I have multiple computers, and this thing is small. It's 730 thousandths. And about five and a half. And it's about six and two hundred, give or take. And it sits at an angle. I don't know what the angle is at. It's like about 15 degrees, maybe. I don't know. That's a good guess. So looking in the box, there was some padding. I just got that from uh, New Egg. It was pretty full. They just had this box. And it was full of the air padding. And... Uh, so that puts me in control of my own storage. So that pretty much concludes the video. I would set it up and have you and bring you along for the ride, but I think it's going to be pretty simple. And uh, then I would just put files in there, and it would say burn, and it would take a while. So um, the research I did on the internet I think is going to be sufficient for helping anyone out there to make a decision on this six times Blu-ray writer from ASUS with uh, what people have said is some of the easiest desktop use with an icon to drag and drop and it's portable from one computer to the next and it is the SBW 06D2X-U so that concludes this video I hope you enjoyed it if you like you can like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos Always remember you can shop at my eBay store, GB Hatchery. I sell a lot of nice used items there. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.